we're a prep school. Uh, we start in nursery, um, age two, and we go right up to 13. I face so many challenges since uh, since leaving the army and becoming a bursar that that to create a list or, or even to pick the top one would, would almost be impossible. But uh, getting to grips with compliance has, has probably been one of the most important things I've had to focus on. I think my, my biggest achievement has been the independent schools inspection that we, um, that we were subjected to last year and um, we managed to, to bring the school up in every area um, by at least one grade and in particular my area was graded excellent um, and compliance was a huge part of that part of the inspection so that's the bit I will leave Edgeborough feeling the most happy that I've achieved something there. Uh, when I arrived we, we tried to do most of the compliance in-house and I quickly realised that actually it, it just wasn't working properly so uh, that's the point that I started looking around for um, external support in order to bring our compliance up to date. I wasn't really sure before I embarked on the process where I was and, and what the issues were with, with the compliance issues that I was facing, particularly the water management. The action plan that I got from Assurity highlighted to me those areas of high risk, medium and low risk and I've been able to target the work that I've done subsequently based on, on the action plan and the survey that they completed. I didn't undertake the, the process with, with cost savings and cost reduction in mind. I was, I was more interested in the, the compliance area. And what it has done, if, if I was to look in terms of cost, is, is the reputational cost of getting it wrong. Um, I'm now confident that we are compliant in, in our systems, whereas before I was less confident. So it's not a pound, shillings and pence answer, but it's just as important. I think the independence of surety was what really clinched the deal. Um, I had been to other uh, providers, I'd had other quotes in, but most of them were, were more interested in what they would sell me after the initial survey and after the action plans. And I didn't want that, I wanted the freedom to be able to go to other providers to do the, the, the follow-up work, uh, but to be assured that Assurity were, were really doing what I wanted to have done, which was the survey and the risk assessments and the action plans, without any um, conflict of interest on their behalf. I think the best thing that Assurity have, have done for me was, was the very personal touch that they were able to bring. I felt like I was a valued client. Um, I had specified points of contact um, who treated me um, extremely well, who understood my needs exceptionally well and who delivered a product that I was able to use rather than a product that they wanted to give me. My board of trustees, my governing body, are now fully aware of some of the issues that, that we have to face up to, that we weren't necessarily completely compliant with previously. Uh, but as far as the rest of the organisation, particularly the staff, the pupils and the, uh, and the parents, um, I'm hoping that they haven't noticed at all and that it's a seamless and invisible process. I think working with uh, Assurity has, has been an unexpected pleasure in many ways. Um, I've, I've really enjoyed the personal touch uh, of the people I've worked with, with the training we've received, with the service we've received. Um, they've, they've helped me hugely and I'd have no problem whatsoever without prompting from Assurity to recommend them to my fellow bursars uh, or anyone else who needs assistance in, in the vast array of compliance that we all face.